Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up a SharePoint site collection. This module covers an overview of SharePoint site collection, things to consider before backup, ways to ways to to do the backup, how to review the job status under the job history area, and of course, I'll give a demo of different ways of backing up. As for me, I'm Yuri Sharora. You can reach me at yurisharora.com. So let's get started. What is a site collection? A SharePoint site collection is a group of webs websites that have the same owner and share administrative settings, for example, permissions and quotas. Site collections are created within a web application. When you create a site collection, a top level site is automatically created in the site collection. And in my demo, I'll be using the same top level site to back them up. You can back up a site collection in SharePoint Server by using the SharePoint Central Administrator website or using the Microsoft PowerShell as another option. Okay, before we do the actual backup, uh, we should be aware of things, things, um, things like, of course, we should have a folder uh, where we're going to be storing the backup data, and it's it's, it's network box network path is what we'll be using. The site collection log status is set to not logged and adding content prevented which automatically sets to read only status during the backup operation. And finally another thing we should be aware of is that for site collection backup you need resources or it can affect the form performance during backup. So usually for a bigger size site collection backups we perform them after hours okay let's start with the first option of uh, backing up using user interface which is the SharePoint central administration now we need to make sure that the user performing the user account performing this procedure is a member of the form administrator group and additionally we, we should verify that the, the timer jobs uh, account is has been given the full control permissions on the backup folder. Okay, so let me go to the central administrator administration area to give a brief demo. So this is a SharePoint 2013 instance. As I mentioned earlier, the, this procedure is applicable to other on-prem versions as well. So here I'm going to click on backup and restore. Then under granular backup, perform a site collection backup. Let me just try to get a path. I've stored it somewhere here. Okay, so that's the network path. Uh, I think I'm going to fully qualify as a network path slash let's say site one dot back okay and I don't think that I've got a file here but you can overwrite it if there's a file there okay so I'm going to click on start backup okay so it says here a site collection backup is in the progress you can refresh it uh, operation initializing the account is using the site collection URL is there the name of the file overwrite so you can see those options there. I had a, a previous run done earlier, which was a successful one. Now let's refresh this quickly. So it says it succeeded. So it was pretty fast because that's a very small size site collection. And uh, if you want to now look at the job history um, uh, under the central administrator area, you click on the job history and you can search for site collection, uh, I think backup, yeah. So you can see here that the backup was successful and, and, and you know this just basically gives you a job status if, if you're interested in seeing that. Okay, so that was the, the UI option. Uh, let's go to the second option which is doing the backup using Microsoft PowerShell. Again, in this case, uh, we should be um, having appropriate access level. Uh, which is you know having the security admin fixed uh, uh, server role on the SQL server instance DB owner fixed database role on all the databases that are to be updated and you need to be part of the administrative groups on the server on which uh, you're running the PowerShell uh, command okay so I think uh, the key thing is uh, there is uh, this particular command um, which is backup dash sp site uh, which takes a parameter of the site collection URL and the, the path and you can have a verbose uh, 
uh, parameter also given if you want to see the details. So I might just quickly uh, give you a quick uh, walkthrough of this uh, for our understanding. So let's go back to our instance and here I'm running a PowerShell uh, IE, uh, ISE, which is the, the interface, a UI rather, and I've got the first line as the uh, importing the module for the PowerShell and then I've got the same site level um, um, or at the root uh, level site collection path here and this time I'm going to say let's say site uh, 2 so as a backup. Um, this one you can actually also run it from the uh, what I call it uh, SharePoint uh, uh, management shell uh, so either way so in that case you don't have to really write the first line but anyway let's just uh, have this started uh, so I'm going to run this now okay it's done in two seconds done so let's go to the backup folder that we have it here and we see that uh, site 2 file there okay so that was a very straightforward example for doing it via the PowerShell exam uh, so just to quickly recap as to what things we covered today so I gave a, 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 an overview as to what uh, SharePoint site collection is then I presented, presented two demos, one doing the backup uh, using uh, SharePoint Central Administration UI and the other one I showed you the PowerShell command that you can use to backup the site collection. So that's all from me. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.